All right, so for this first problem in section 8.2, we are going to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a nonagon. Nonagon is one of my favorite math words to say. So the way we find the sum of the interior angles is using this formula right here. We take n minus 2 times 180 degrees. n minus 2, the value of n is the number of sides of a polygon. And you may not have known this, but Google knows it. It's also in your book, along with a bunch of other fun uh, polygon words to say. A nonagon has nine sides. And so this problem, once you know that it has nine sides and the formula for finding the sum of the interior angles becomes a pretty easy thing to do. So I'm going to substitute the number 9 in for n. And so I have 9 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So 9 minus 2, of course, is 7 times 180 degrees. And when you do that multiplication, 7 times 180 degrees turns out to be 1,260 degrees. Remember, that is the sum of all nine angles in the interior of that nonagon. So now we are going to use that formula and that principle to solve this problem. We are going to find the measure of the angle x. So I need to be able to figure out what this angle right here is going to be. So to do that, something that will be helpful, I need to relate it to this angle that is inside the, inside the figure that has six sides, and that's called a hexagon. And so the relationship between x and that interior angle is that they are supplementary. They're also called straight angles, so we know that they will add up to 180 degrees. So if I can figure out the measure of that interior angle, then I'm going to be all set. So a key bit of information that uh, you need to know about this is that this hexagon, all the sides are equal. I forgot to type that in the problem, so I'm telling you that now. That is called a regular hexagon. Okay, a regular figure, what that means is the word regular means that all sides and all angles are equal. If you don't have that bit of information, then you can't do this problem. But with that information, we are going to be able to figure out what x is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the sum of all six interior angles of the hexagon by using the formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And so this hexagon, we just counted them, has six sides. So that's 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees. And so 4 times 180. And you can use your calculator to figure that out. But 180 times 4 is equal to 720 degrees. Okay, I need to draw a better 7 than that. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be messy. Uh, that is 720 degrees. Now... Since we know that all of the angles are equal, okay, that's what a regular figure is. Mentioned that just a moment ago. What I can do now is I can say, okay, so if the sum of all six angles is 720 degrees and they are all equal, I can divide that by six to figure out the measure of one of the interior angles. Remember, we can only do this if it is called a regular figure. And when you do that division, you can do it longhand or you can pop it into your calculator. You are going to get that each angle is 120 degrees. So what that tells me is this interior angle over here is 120 degrees. And now I have all the information that I need in order to figure out what x is. Because the 120 degree interior angle of the hexagon plus x is equal to a straight angle, a straight line, and that is 180 degrees.
So this is a nice, uh, as simple linear equation as we can possibly have. To solve it, I'm going to subtract 120 degrees from both sides, and we get that the value of x that I'm looking for is equal to 180 minus 120, or 60 degrees. And that is the value that we were looking for.